Hello everyone and welcome back. One of the great things about the Zoom and the Android platform is the community. It really is a great group of people. Both users and developers seem to work well together. Um, any problems that they come across, ideas, it's just a great fusion and really cool things derive from it. And so one of the things that I've been doing is I've been going over applications that are personally my favorite applications requested by other viewers and um, I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to showcase applications that um, developers have made in within the community and um, so I've been going around and asking developers and um, I have an application for you today and that application is called Kill Switch. Now what Kill Switch does is it takes your Zoom and your Zoom case. Now this is assuming of course you have a case, which I do. I have this uh, nice Motorola case. And what it does is it takes it and when you close that case it will turn your Zoom screen on standby and it will essentially, you know, turn turn off the screen. Um, so I'm gonna kinda show you how that works and simulate turning off the screen first. So what I'll, what I'll do by doing that so you can see it occur is turn off the light. And so we'll see pretty soon um, the zoom go into standby. So one of the questions that might raise the user right away is, okay, well you can't use it in the dark then. And that's not true. So there's a dialog that shows up right here and you can say, nope, don't turn off the device. And what will happen as you can then resume using the the zoom and the device in the dark and then when you want to turn it on standby you just have to press the button like you would normally do but you know I find this application very practical and it has a lot of great uses I've uh, run into several times where I've been watching a movie playing a game or using an app that automatically controls the standby mode and disables it. So what that means is, you know, usually your Zoom has a timeout. I think the default is like 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes of no activity, it turns off. But if you're using one of these applications and you shut your case, your your device doesn't turn off and all the battery goes away. And it's it's a drag. It's it's a real bummer. I've 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 come across this a couple times at work and I don't have my charger with me and so I can't use my device. It's, 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 it's annoying. And so this saves the day. This comes in and has a really cool way of implementing um, the power off without you having to do anything extra and um, it, 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 and all you need is the case and then this app. So I assume most people have this this case. If you don't have a case but you have a case that covers the Zoom then you, then you're all set. Um, so anything that covers the front face of the device will will work. So even if, you know, I guess a, 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 th a thick piece of paper that doesn't let light in will will, e will even do the trick. Um, so this actually works for uh, phones as well. So it's a kind of a two two for one app. So um, a lot of phones that go into holsters, and these phones that have proximity sensors, when you holster your phone, it will go into that standby very very cool. Um, unfortunately I, I actually just keep my phone in my pocket so I'm, I'm not able to show and showcase this um, and just so you see you can see that the the device went into standby automatically with the with the cover closed. So for those who have a tablet that's not a zoom just make sure it has an ambient lighting and then it will work on this um, which is what it's taking care of now it's looking at the, li the light outside of the zoom and you know it's really dark because the covers on it it's gonna turn itself off um, for those who don't have ambient light sensor or proximity sensor but are looking at this app for a solution they offer one more which is the accelerometer and so all you have to do is take your um, device and face make it face down and the accelerometer will sense this motion and um, the device will go on to standby. All right. Well, I hope you like this app. Definitely, if you try it out, 
please, uh, you know, rate rate the app, and then let the um, developer know that Sleepless Ninja sent you. Just leave it in the in the review, Sleepless Ninja, and that that would be really great. And then if you do that for any of your apps, if I have made you or swayed you into getting an app, please let the let the person know in your in your review of the app that uh, I sent I sent you, and that that would be really nice. Um, thank you, everyone. You're you're wonderful as always. Great viewers. Um, please let me know if there's anything you want to see. Developers, let me know if there's any apps that you want me to showcase. If you like this video, please like it. And for anyone who is, hasn't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do daily videos and I try to make them as interesting possible. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.